Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Nav Viking Coffee Mug tutorials. This time around, uh, what I want to do is go through a uh, something called item application worksheet, which is a really nice tool that's dug deep into the uh, costing element of NAV. Uh, and sometimes it is a complete lifesaver. And uh, it's definitely something that people who have to deal with costing uh, should be aware of and how it works. So basically I have here a winter coffee mug and uh, I'm going to go into the entries for this particular item. And here I can see that we have three entries. This item is a FIFO costed item, which means first in, first out. And uh, you can see that all of the entries here happened on the same day, on the 25th. And we have a purchase receipt, a sales shipment, and a positive adjustment. So basically, since they happen all on the same day, it's we have to understand in what order it happened. And we can figure out the order by looking at the entry numbers. So the first one here happened uh, was 340, uh, which is the purchase, and then 341, which was the sale, and that closed out the 100. So we bought 100, sold 100, and there was nothing left at that point. And then we got a positive adjustment of 100. Now, since we got the purchase in first and then sold, the cost of the purchase, which was $5,000, is the cost of the sale. So there is a profit of 2,500, and then we have inventory of 4,000. Now, we can imagine the scenario where the salesperson comes in and says, hey, I got only got 2,500 profit, I should have got 3,500. Uh, and of course the accountant goes, why? And uh, he says, well, we had the items in there, it was just lost, they found it, and now those were the items I actually sold. The purchase order that came in today had nothing to do with it. Okay, fair enough. So how do we fix this? How do we fix this in NAV? How do we avoid taking this information into Excel, creating a separate line item in Excel or something like that to calculate commissions? Um, we want this to be cor correct in NAV. Well, enter the application worksheet. Let's save the day. So up here we have application worksheet. If I click, click on that, and uh, I get here a list of all transactions. I'm going to filter on my item. And then I can see I have only the, uh, the transactions for that item. And I can see that there is here open. The purchase receipt and sales shipment are closed, means they're applied together. And the positive adjustment is open. But what I want to happen, or how I want it to be, is the purchase receipt should be open and the sales shipment and positive adjustments should close. So I can actually go in here into, um, well, first click on the purchase receipt up here and click on applied entries. What is applied to the purchase receipt? And the system will tell me, well, that is the sales shipment. Sales shipment is applied to the purchase receipt. And I'll go, okay. I'm going to take that away, take that application away. Okay, now I have opened the application. And the system now has nothing applied to each other. Everything is open. All right, good enough. So what I want to do now is go ahead and apply the sale here to the positive adjustment. So I can go in here and click on positive adjustment and click on unapplied entries. Um, and it comes up with the sales shipment, so that is what I can apply to it. I know it's not very intuitive how they word this, but you gotta go into the positive adjustment and hit unapplied entries to view what you can apply to that. And then I just hit OK. Let me see. And you can see now that the positive adjustment is closed against the sale and the purchase receipt is open. Now I just OK out of here. 
and okay so what his system is going to do is actually check to make sure that no uh, outbound quantities or basically negative quantities have not been applied to because we don't want the system ever to have that unless you're in negative quantities which you really never should be so you just say yes to that uh, and then we close out so now if we take a look at this um, we can see that the uh, we've applied the positive adjustment to the uh, to the sales shipment and uh, you can see the purchase receipt is open. So let me go ahead and just close that out. Now there is something called here cost is adjusted. You can see that cost is not adjusted right now. And maybe you were wondering when I actually came in here. Uh, you could see that the 5000 was still like this. It had not moved the 4000 to 5000. Now you can actually set up the system to do cost adjustments automatically or manually. So I'm going to just go ahead and do it manually. So I go into a particular transaction or procedure called uh, adjust costs prices. Actually, no, that's not it. Sorry. Um, adjust cost item entries. And this routine is a routine and I'll cover this in a separate uh, uh, video but it's a routine that actually goes over all of the items that have not been adjusted and adjusts them. This can be set up to be done automatically by the system uh, but it, it's a performance overhead so sometimes it's scheduled that night and in the demo system it's actually turned off and I'm gonna run this is to make sure and that goes actually over all of the items that I have and make sure that it's and now you can see that the cost is adjusted on all of them and I go into my ledger entries and look at this now it's fixed the cost and it goes 4000 uh, on the sale so the sale is giving me $3,500 profit and the 5000 is open so I hope that was instructive. I know it's uh, a bit of a deep dive into costing, but this one is uh, very, very, very interesting. Uh, and it's a huge help. Sometimes when costing is off, you don't know why it's off and you need to reapply entries uh, properly. Uh, you can go in and do that like this. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions, um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.